Ooh. Okay, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another edition of Uncommon Sense. I have to be honest with y'all, I am leaving for a trip in a little bit, and I have not finished packing. But one of the main things I got to do is figure out what fragrances I'm taking with me, right? So I'm going to Mexico. I love going to Puerto Vallarta, especially around this time of year because it's cold here, and it's 80 degrees there. So we got to figure out what fragrances we're going to take with us. Let me know if you're digging the hoodie. New merch available from my company, 3D Designs. If you like this hoodie, give this video a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and we can make sure that you get your very own, okay? Cool, so let's be very clear. I have been being lazy and I've been repeating fragrances. <laughs> Cause I mean, why not, right? So I keep my fragrances in here, um, partially because when I go through Customs, they love to dig through my bag, so I try to keep everything localized. I may put this in my big rollerboard, my rollerboard suitcase, because I don't check bags. So let's see what we got in here first already. This is Game of Spades Win by Joe Milano, I think. Yeah. We're gonna see if we're gonna take that with us, because I want to give the tropical vibe. This is Oud Lemon Mint. That has to come. I really feel like Oud Lemon Mint is a fragrance I've smelled nothing like it. So, man, Sarah's Oud Lemon Mint, that's coming with us because you get some of the best things about the fragrance. Oud, lemon. I love mint. A lot of people don't. Who cares? I'm digging it. So, Oud Lemon Mint is definitely coming with us. I'm going to try to have about eight fragrances. So, I got something for daytime, something for nighttime. Let's take some of this stuff out of here. Nail clippers. I just got a manicure, so I'm good on nail clippers. Toothbrush. One fragrance that is coming. Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Beau Parfum. Le Parfum. It's coconutty. It's essential for tropical traveling, so that's coming for sure. We're gonna decamp that one. And a new pickup for me is uh, Le Impression Parfum. It is a Louis Vuitton Le Immensity dupe. It is a fresh fragrance. It kind of reminds you of Dolce & Gabbana Peron. It has a little bit of citrus. It's a very pleasant fragrance. And you get a lot of juice for the money. So now some dupes don't live up to the performance. However, this one, I feel for the money, the value that I get from this one, I don't need the Louis Vuitton one, even though I'm a Louis Vuitton guy. I am going to take Montal's Oud Lagoon, partially because I already have a decanning and it just kind of makes sense. I don't have to do any work for that. Some newer pickups that I'm going to take with me are Lamar by Kajal. Lamar has this very interesting fragrance profile that kind of smells like alcoholic gummy bears and florals. I really dig this fragrance. It's like nothing I've ever smelled. I see a lot of comparison to Creed Aventus. It's in a league of its own because it has that pineapple thing. But this fragrance, this is definitely coming with me. Let me tell you about Joma Shop. Joma Shop be tripping. I had a full size tester. It was on back quarter. It took two months for them to realize they didn't have the fragrance. They followed up with me, canceled. They partially shipped my order, which made the gift card that I had expire which upset me and then i ended up having to pay shipping on two orders pissed me off so joma shop count your days over here one fragrance that is coming with me is yves saint laurent myself myself is a very fresh fragrance it kind of reminds me of another fragrance that i have and since i have a tester of it already it just makes sense for me to take it new edition but i think i got every fragrance in this lineup now body allude honor and glory 
This fragrance is leading with pineapple, but it is a, such a seductive scent. I don't dislike any in the line. I have the red one. I don't know where it's at, though. My house is kind of a mess at this point because I've been doing a lot of traveling. A lot of things going on with the family, so I've been traveling, dealing with arrangements and all that type of thing. So I got to decant this one, the Le Beau Le Parfum, the Flavia, and that's pretty much it. That's all I'm going to decant because I feel like doing anything else would be just way too much work, especially when it comes to the fact of I have to figure out how to get all of this with me. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to unpack some stuff just because I'm a chronic overpacker and I feel like I'll have a bunch of outfits that I won't even wear. With it being 80 degrees, I'm pretty sure a daytime outfit will be different from nighttime outfit. I'll be going to some some events, some dinners, some clubs, parties, that type of thing. So I'll need to make sure that I have more than enough fragrances and clothes. So I technically need 10 outfits and three shoes, two pair of sandals, one pair of sneakers. So I gotta make all of that work. I'm stressed. <laughs> we're gonna get it done and we're gonna decant. We're gonna take our shower bombs and shower steamers too so that we can relax. Um, the flight is about four and a half hours. So I'll get some rest on the flight. I'm not gonna sleep today because it doesn't make sense to have an early flight and I don't play the missing flight games, especially for international flights. We don't have time for that or money. <laughs> Unless somebody wanna give your boy some buddy passes or somebody wanna hook me up as a companion. Damn, help brother. Damn. <laughs> anyway. Let me get to decanting and finish up packing. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. And again, it's been your boy, Uncommon Sense. And I'm out. Till next time. Check out my 3D Designs hoodie. Let me know if you're feeling that. Uh, I have 50 of these in stock. They vary in sizes from medium all up to 2X. If you're interested, hit the link below. Let me know. And we will get you one. All right? That's all I got. Till next time, y'all. Love you. Bye.